The 2020 Kia Telluride might be one of the best new three row crossovers on sale right now, but it's not perfect. And in this video, I'm gonna show you eight things that I absolutely love about this SUV and two things that could use a little bit of improvement. Feeling in a positive mood today, so let's start with the things that I love about the 2020 Kia Telluride. And number eight on that list is actually the way it looks. This is a very stylish, very handsome vehicle. First thing, let's start with the front here. You have these headlights, LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. And Kia does something a little different in that they actually do an orange surround for the running light rather than just a white one, which looks kind of cool. You also have this tiger nose grill. That's what Kia calls it. This is the biggest tiger nose grill you'll find on any Kia model. And of course it says Telluride across the front of the hood. Keep moving around the side. This one is the SX trim. So you get these 20 inch black painted wheels. They look really beefy, look kind of cool, kind of rugged. It gives it like the stormtrooper look, right? And well, you have a lot of fun little design touches. I really like this little notch in the side panel right here. Very big, broad side, you know, like a lot of three row crossovers, three row SUVs. This is a fun feature right here. Kia calls these the hockey stick taillights. They're also LEDs. I was watching this video on a channel called the Sketch Monkey, and it's this guy that basically photoshops car designs to make them look better or worse. And he did an episode on the Kia Telluride and brought up a really interesting point. What the Sketch Monkey said is that the Telluride looks in a lot of ways, it shares a lot of design cues with the GMC Yukon Denali. And I think he's absolutely right. The headlights are this vertical shape, big wide grill with some chrome bits. The side looks very similar. A lot of similar shapes between the two vehicles. And well, if you like the Yukon GMC Denali's design, then I think there's a good chance you're gonna like the Telluride's design as well. Listen guys, styling is always a personal choice, right? But please drop a comment down below and tell us what you think. Number seven on this list has to be just how massive the Telluride is. It's a huge vehicle, which means the inside is super spacious, which is great for a big guy like me. I'll show you what I mean. Hop in the front seat here where there's arguably the most space. And look at this, I just, tons of headroom, even with this little sunroof up here, headroom is not an issue. It's very wide, there's plenty of room for my knees. Uh, it's just super spacious up here in the front. And the same goes for the back seats as well. All right, so the second row of seats, this one has the optional captain's chair, so there's only two seats in the second row. But look at this. This seat is where I would be driving and I still have loads of knee room and loads of headroom. And once again, there's another sunroof back here. So no issues with space in the first and second row, but what about the third row? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the third row. And to do that, there's a few different ways you can go about folding the second row seats. There's two buttons actually, one up here for the back passengers and one right down here. So you press a little button and it just folds right up. Making the third row up here is super easy. Two little pull tabs, it's a 60-40 split. So you just whoop, pull that up, flip up the headrest, pull up this other one, flip up that headrest, and there you go, third row. Big opening, easy to get in. Up. All right, this is the true test. I'm six foot two. So actually guys, there's good enough room in the third row here. You can see I have knee room. Eh, kind of my knees are hitting the seat. And I have a little bit of headroom. They made this little cutout here that kind of sort of does the trick. But if you had to squeeze some adults back here, you could. Although I think for kids, it's probably gonna be a lot more comfortable. Plenty of room for people, clearly, as you can see, but what about stuff that's just as important? Well, you can fold all the seats and see just how much space there is, because it really is cavernous in here. Boom, look at that. 87 cubic feet of storage space behind the first row. But wait, there's more storage. Look, if you peel up this little carpet here, there's a handle and 
even more space. Number six has to do with air conditioning, which might not sound all that interesting, but I bet a lot of you family people out there know that it's impossible to get anybody to agree on the same temperature when you're riding in the car. And fortunately, the Kia Telluride has tri-zone climate control. So you have, you know, the driver gets their own temperature, Matt, our camera guy, would get his own temperature, and the kids can get their own temperature in the back. But there's more than that, because in this version, the front seats are both heated and cooled, as are the second row. So the captain chairs back there also are heated and cooled, which is awesome. Finally, you have a heated steering wheel, which is great for those cold, snowy winters, wherever you may live. Number five on this list is just all the driver safety and enhancement technology technology that you get on the Kia Telluride. I've got the Monroney here that tells you all the different features it has. So let's go down the list here. Blind spot collision avoidance, assist rear, so it'll tell you if you're about to hit someone behind you. Rear cross traffic collision avoidance, forward collision avoidance, highway driving assist, lane keeping assist, parking distance warning reverse, smart cruise control with stop and go, rear occupant alert with ultrasonic sensors, safe exit assist. All right, number four, it's actually, even more technology because this thing is like a rolling iPad. And the first thing you notice when you hop in has to be this enormous screen right here. This is the optional 10.3 inch touchscreen display. It does feature Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It's got a very easy to use interface. It's similar to anything you'd find in Kia or Hyundai's lineup. Plus check it out if you put it in reverse, you do have a backup camera and a 360 degree view camera which is super nice. Look into the gauge cluster and there's another seven inch infotainment display. This time it tells you well, a lot of your driving information. But what's cool about this one is when you put on your blinker, so your left blinker, it has a little camera that it uses for this 360 degree camera. And it actually shows you your blind spot on the left side and the right side. Now I know guys that Honda has been doing this for a while, but theirs only does the right side and it's really cool to have both sides. Then if you move up from the center display, you also have a heads up display. That is part of another option package on this particular Telluride, but it can tell you speed, navigation information, music, stuff like that. I like to just have the little speedometer up there because it's really clean, but it does give you some useful information. But that's not all. Down here, there's a wireless charging pad for your cell phone. This is actually a big enough charging pad for a large phone. I've noticed some charging pads, they're just not quite big enough and it's really frustrating when you can't use the wireless charging pad in your car. Next, what about USBs? There's two up here in the front, one down in this center console and one under this little lid. There's two in the sides of the seats, so you have one for both of the second row passengers. And then on the sides, in the third row even, they have more USB ports so that everybody can be charging their devices all at once. Number three on this list of the good things is actually luxury feel. Believe it or not, this Kia Telluride super luxurious interior. We have the Prestige package, the $2,000 option, but it gets you these Napa leather appointed seats, which the leather is super supple. The stitching is quite impressive. Seats are ventilated, they're perforated, as I mentioned before, but it's not just the seats. The rest of the interior is super nice. It's beautiful. There's this metal accents, and what I actually really like is there's a staggering lack of piano black trim. Now, that's not to say it's all gone. There is still some piano black down in this little center console area, but on the dash, like where you'll be touching a lot of, there's no piano black, so you're you're removing your fingerprint risk there. I also really like these handles. They're kind of like the oh shoot bars, but they're a really nice place to rest your hand. This steering wheel is definitely another highlight of the interior, leather wrapped, heated as I mentioned before, and has these metal trim pieces, buttons that are super easy to use to interact with uh, your menus and stuff like that. But also these headrests are just, they're like pillows. Like you could just fall asleep right here, not while you're driving, not while you're driving, but, but like, you know, if you pulled over to take a nap or something. Number two on this list of the good things about the Kia Telluride, it's actually the way it rides down the road because it's super smooth. And to prove my point, I have found the pretty much the worst piece of road in anywhere close to the office. And uh, we're gonna drive over this. This is what we use for the bumpy road tests. And it's just, it's butter smooth. Look at, we're, we're on the bumpy road right now. And yeah, you can feel there's some bumps here and there, but my goodness, it is just like a pillow 
over the road. It's really impressive how smoothly they've made this thing ride. And not just the ride actually, the way it drives too. This eight speed automatic transmission, very smooth as well. Power delivery is super smooth. The whole thing, if there's one word you could use to describe the Telluride's driving experience, it would have to be smooth. Before we get to what is the best thing about the Kia Telluride, let's talk about those two things that could use a little bit of improvement. And they actually both have to do with what's under the hood. This is a kind of a older engine from Kia's lineup. It's a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6. In this case, it makes 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. It's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission that in this case powers all four wheels, although you can get it in front wheel drive. And here are the issues with this engine. For one, it's not all that powerful. 291 horsepower for this class, not a lot of power, and as a result, it's just not that quick. But the other problem is that it's also not that fuel efficient. This is an Atkinson cycle V6, which essentially means it's designed more for fuel economy than it is for power. But despite that, it still only gets 19 MPG in the city, 24 MPG on the highway, and 21 MPG combined. You're looking at a range realistically somewhere in the realm of like 350 miles on a tank. It's just not that long. You'll be filling up quite often. Number one on the list of things that is really good about the Kia Telluride, pricing because this thing is an extreme value when you take a look at the Monroney. So this is the Telluride SX V6 all-wheel drive. It's basically fully loaded. It'd be hard to make one much more expensive than this. And this tops out at $47,255. And if that sounds expensive, just take a minute and think about all the things you get. You get the luxurious interior, all the tech features, all the driver safety features, eh, not so great of an engine, but we already talked about that. Good styling. I mean, the, the, the package here is just an extremely good value offering. And then you add on top of that, the fact that it's a Kia, right? So it comes with a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So there you go, guys. I hope you liked this video. Drop a comment down below. Tell us what you think of the car and be sure to come back to tflcar.com for the latest news, views, real world reviews, and well, we'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.